Say bye bye. Bye bye. Ah. Ah. You are alive, no? After video. Hey, everyone, worry. Maybe I break here. Huh? Break here. Break here, no? Now, oh, that's why milk. Oh. What about here? I have to make okay, no? After break here, make here. Then it'll be okay, no? No. Huh? No? Okay. Uh, some people say I will call Thai police and say Annie, run away from there. Okay? No. Go, they, and they want Annie go village. They say we will help Annie go back Ubon. <sighs> Good news. Okay, bye. When are you going? You going? <laughs> huh? After one hundred years. After one hundred years, I bad. They everyone say this man. Hey, come here. She buffalo, buffalo. See, the baby is running. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Oh. So, apparently after posting that video, that uh, uh, the previous one, uh, I actually, I, not accidentally, I uh, slapped my wife or uh, the title I put is, I physically hit my wife. So after posting that, you can go see in the video, all the comments which are there. Some people will put and then they'll remove it or YouTube will remove it. Uh, some have given bad words. And I got some interesting questions that I wanted to address or answer. Uh, some of them were, I'm going to call the police on you, I've taken your details. Some have said, I'm going to inform the social service and uh, make sure your wife and baby leave you. One even commented, I'm going to expose you uh, with this video everywhere. Uh, some somewhere like that and then uh, the other comments were uh, why, why do you share stuff like this which destroys your image and integrity and some others were law you don't share confidential information like this private stuff so i thought i'll answer these questions um you know in no particular order the first one is calling the police on me uh, i don't have any issues you think I'm not aware that if I post this online, people can do all sort of nonsense? You think people have not done it? Okay. So for those who have to, my message to you, those who have to, my contact details are put online. My location is put, my address is put. I mean, you don't have to inform me. You can just go ahead and do it. So now the question comes, why am I not worried about it? Shouldn't that be the question? For example, social service, okay? Let's say you say that I'm abusing my wife, I'm abusing my baby. Of course, if you inform social service, they'll come and take the baby and the wife, which is 100% true. I'm not denying it. But here, common sense and logic comes in which many of you don't use. Here, before I even answer the question, have you asked yourself, why is my wife not leaving and going, why? low self-esteem or uh, does she know that she doesn't have any option or uh, is it I'm trapping her or I'm, I have imprisoned her or blackmailed her or I've told her you can't take the child what is it or she doesn't have a home to go back to okay here here are the answers wife has a family a very big family to go back to very big family that's number one okay and they love her support her and they'll take her back in a click of a finger. In fact, her previous husband was uh, seriously abusive. He used to drink, smoke, do drugs, and every day is to physically beat her. Okay. So when she informed them, they immediately took her back. So if I was the same, they would do the same. She would not keep quiet. Okay. That's number one. So family is there. 
Number two is she does have a family to go back to. She has property. Do you know that she has property? She has land, uh, which is obviously in her mother's name, but she can claim it. She has not. Okay. Third one is she doesn't know anyone. Oh, she has a whole army of brothers, sisters. She is a local man. Come on. Okay. Then comes. Have I trapped her? She has access to. She has a private bank account where I've transferred money. The baby has money. She can take the money and run away. I can't do anything because I put it in her both their accounts. Then, uh, so what is it? Big question. What is it? Low self-esteem. She did have before. Today, thanks to me, I've told her never take shit from anyone. How can I teach my baby values if she sees a mother doesn't incorporate them? Okay. So, what is it I know that you guys don't know? Okay, here's the answer. Okay. <laughs> Number one, let's assume social service comes. They'll take her away. Fine. After they take her away, maybe they'll let her go to her family, or they'll keep them in one home or something. Okay. Once after you reach that home, do you think there is free food? There is free drink. There is free stay. There is free everything. No, nothing in the world is for free. You'll have to start working. You have to work and earn, right? If you are an able-bodied person, you have two hands, two legs. You're perfectly healthy, and you're in your twenties. Supposed to work, right? Okay, that's number one. My wife doesn't want to work. Have you ever thought about it? My wife was a farmer. She used to work in the sun. She used to get up every day five o'clock, cook food for the family, and then after that prepare everything, and then by six or seven or after they would eat food, they would leave for the fields. They would work all the way till twelve, yeah, twelve o'clock, twelve to one. They would have food, one to one thirty or two. They would take rest. Again, they'd continue work, two till six or whatever. Then they would come back, have shower, then they'd cook food for the family till eight. Or nine, then they would eat food and go to sleep. That's how my wife's life was all these years. Hey, hey, hey. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't you? Hey, wait. Ah. Come, we call this uh, uh, Careful, huh, Annie? They are coming this way. One minute. Where does the car come? One second, huh? Hold on, guys. This car, so car comes. She, she, car, car. Blop, blop, blop. Me, not I don't give him. Sit down. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Ah. 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 You alive, no? After video? Yes, hey, everyone worry. Maybe I break here. Huh? Break here. Break here, no? Now, oh, that's why I milk. Oh. What about here? I have to make okay, no? After break here, make here. Then it'll be okay, no? No. Huh? No? Okay. Uh, some people say I will call Thai police and say Annie, run away from there. Okay? No. Go, they, and they want Annie go village. They say we will help Annie go back Ubon. Oh, good news. Okay, bye. When are you going? You going? Huh? After 100 years. After 100 years. I bad. They everyone say, this man. Hey, come here. She buffalo, buffalo. See, the baby is running. Oh no. Oh no. She kill me. Sit, sit, sit. I will sit in your back. After I sit, she run. No, but you have to be careful. Yes, if she run uh, near road. I, I want her to be afraid of buffalo or something. She buffalo, buffalo. No, she should not run. But we not, not. Ah, 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 ah. No. See, the baby tends to run. So, uh, make sure that she's afraid, huh? Because otherwise she'll think like brownie. She said, Buffalo, how are you? How are you, huh? No, no, no. No, no. The problem is, uh, these are animals which you don't recognize. Yeah, if they don't know, you know, last time the this thing came running to me. Yeah, sir, danger, darling. Yeah. Because 
Buffalo can kill you. Yeah, but teach her not to run because she'll think I every time joke joke. So she, uh, you know, these boys are riding in the cycle motorcycle. Huh? Mm -hmm. They are racing here because they think nobody is here. Okay. Okay. So what I was saying was. Uh, See? What I was telling you, my wife, she doesn't like to. Uh, she doesn't want to go to work. Wait. Let me. Let me. Uh, let me prove it to you. Okay. Ah. Uh, when in Ubon, what time you get up? When you farmer? No, seven. Uh, seven. Okay. You have to cook for family? Yes, sir. Every day? Yes, sir. Okay. After that, you have to go work? Yes, sir. Uh, then you have to work in sun? Yes, sir. Or AC? Uh, sun, no? Easy life? No. Very easy. No. Many people say, I want to be farmer. Farmer is so nice. <laughs> yeah, you remember when I walk in farm? I, I if, walk. If you never do farmer, you you can. You, you remember when I want to marry you? You take me farming. After how many minutes I tired? Five minutes. Five. <laughs> five, five minute walking, no? I think you will lose weight. Lose weight? I will lose everything. I'll become skin and bone. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Annie, uh, make sure that she is at the side. Huh? So you see, having a hyper baby who runs and look look at the cars. See. Look at the cars. See, sometimes when you see my video, when you see my video, you see these cars going by. Well, sometimes you might see these guys racing. You know, it takes one second for an accident to take place. Anyway, I'll come to that. Now, what I was telling was, uh, my wifey, I always keep an eye on the baby. See, my wifey, okay, she, got, uh, she gets up at seven, fine. I made a mistake at timing. But when we were there, when I was in Ubon, they used to get up at 5. I think maybe it was harvest time or something. So I got... But anyway, she used to get up every day. She has to get up at 7, go to work in the sun, come back by 9 and you're exhausted. You know, the Thailand sun, the weather, like me, when I uh, initially met her for marriage, you know, you're supposed to walk in a field which has water, which has water and soft sand. I was tired in five minutes. These people have to work for uh, on an average every day eight hours. So the point I was trying to make here is the it's not easy. And she doesn't want to go there. She doesn't want to work. You know why? It's not that she's lazy. I'm giving her an easy life. She gets up at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. After she gets up. She can open the fridge, take out whatever food she wants or uh, buy something. She can tell me I buy. Then she can eat food relaxingly with the baby and watch her YouTube or whatever she wants to watch. Then she can shower, she can relax. So it's a very easy life. You think she is going to get this if social service takes her? You think she's going to get this life that I give her? A salary, like a salary every month. Savings account I put every month. Baby's account I put every month. Whatever shopping you want to do. Take the card, go buy, withdraw money. Get up whenever you like, sleep whenever you like. Obviously, I asked her to sleep on time because, you know, I don't want it to become a bad habit watching movies the whole night. So I give them a good life. If social service comes and takes, you think they're going to give all this? So I know what I'm doing, man. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? Even if social service gives her, they're not going to give her luxurious life. They won't tell her, sorry, you got hands and legs, you better work. Okay, now that's one. The second thing is, for those who do not know, third, from, right from childhood, I've never touched alcohol, which you know. Smoke, cigarettes I don't do. I don't do drugs. Never had a single fight. You no, know, like, actual fight. And in my 30 years of dating women, this is the first time I actually slapped someone at the side. 30 years. Okay. Now, I, today I apologize to my wife. I, but I told her, you know why I did she? She said yes. I asked her, am I wrong? She said no. I said, was the baby in danger? She said yes. Now you, you just saw my baby, how my baby runs. See, this is our gate. The baby can run out and if there's a car coming or someone coming speeding down. In fact, you, I didn't tell you this. 
once uh, from here we were sitting and eating up here here the lay, a female who was looking on a phone and driving looking on someone came out from the house there and they had a head on collision uh, see, thankfully no serious injury but it was enough to rattle their brains and they had to call the ambulance now just imagine if a head on collision with my baby see the people who are commenting the funny thing is they hide behind fake names they will not tell you they are skeletons in the closet do you smoke do you drink do you have problems with your wife do you have temper issues no they are perfect apparently they are perfect and they will advise others but then if you are so perfect why don't you reveal your identity why don't you reveal who you are see none of us are perfect okay the reason and here's the answer to the next question why do i reveal so much about myself in my videos the reason is i want to keep it real i want to tell you the truth there are so many people who live in la la land because they see some celebrity or they see some they think oh it's easy to get rich they think it's easy to be successful on youtube they think people have perfect lives this is the problem in instagram facebook uh, the media youtube they will show you only one small bit one side of a person's life and they'll glamorize it it's not the case man like for example transgender or oh, you want to change have a sex change have take hormones they don't tell you how much it costs per month and that you have to take this every month they don't give the challenges now you do you know how many people have asked me no i want to marry a thai wife because your wife is so wonderful if it was that easy don't you think everyone would marry not saying she is a bad girl she is a amazing girl but to maintain this amazing girl you have to pay money pay money not to her save money for her save money for the baby save money for the house save money for the family save money for the future what do you think it's easy without money nothing goes man nothing works ask yourself why is in the whole world everyone coming and running and marrying a girl from a third world country it's not that easy <sighs> then uh, why do i share confidential private information see i am very i am pretty aware what i select online very aware i do share many things agreed let me check there okay yeah i do share many things which is true yes but i don't share everything like for example i'll not share passwords i'll not share if for example me and my wife uh, have a serious argument or so i'm not going to share it day to day people have their ups and downs i don't share it i don't share my struggles i don't share my challenges because who the fuck is interested uh, yes i share content that is valuable okay that adds value yes like for example the reason i'm sharing this video if people are saying oh i mentioned that uh, video about the fight and the thing just to get views yes it's a fact yes, yes. what you want okay see this is a baby see this see how she is running look see so yes i do share for views i'll be lying if i tell you i don't share for views i mean what's the purpose of being on youtube if you don't want views but views is a part of it okay views is one part of it the other part is not just engagement the main thing is being true to your brand if it was only for views let me tell you if it was only for views i've had so many requests for collaborations i've had so many requests where people say loy can can we work together in fact uh, there are uh, youtubers who speak on gossipy topics that get so many views from krim kim kardashian's surgery to affair to you know if i speak on these gossipy topics i'll get tremendous amount of views but why is it i don't talk about all this this is not part of my brand there is there is common sense there's a lot of thought it's not done out of impulse see like this guy how he's driving these two guys so this is the danger make sure you tell baby when car comes you have to be careful huh? 
Why yeah. she don't like to play near the house? Yeah. New area. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, just uh, be careful where there's red hand, no? It bites, no? Okay. 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 Last but not least, I don't want to drag on. Okay. Last but not the least. See, uh, people generally, I I know that people whenever they give advice. It's not that they have bad intentions, but sometimes people, when they give advice or suggestions, it's to feel good, for them to feel good, for them to feel important, for them to feel special, for them to validate their insecurities. Why? Because maybe in the real world, nobody gives a fuck about them. Maybe in the real world, nobody takes them seriously. So the social media is a platform. I created a fake name and I can give advice free, left, right and center. And people will comment and engage and all that. There you go. This lady is driving with one hand, with the other hand holding something. In fact, uh, let me just tell you this. I see women, actually, uh, they are looking on their phone. One hand is on the scooter, one hand is holding the phone. There's a baby here and there's a baby here. I've seen this. And there are shopping groceries on the handlebar. I've seen this. So you tell me if they do like this, isn't it dangerous here? So anyway, people give lots of advice. See, you can give advice, fine and all that. But end of the day, I have to pay the price, right? I have to take care, right? If any mistake happens, I have to bear it, right? So who is, who is going to pay the bills? Who is going to take care? Who is going to look after? So, like I said, in a nutshell, I'm not denying that I put up that video for views. But the main thing is, I want people to have a realistic sense of life. Not what they show happy, happy. Like for example, you see uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Perfect life. Workouts, physique, believe in yourself. Uh, does he tell you the dark side of the industry? No. Does he tell you anything controversial? No. Because it will harm his brand. Does he speak on transgender issues? Does he speak on unemployment? Does he speak on bribing other people doing steroids for bodybuilding? He'll tell you it's natural. He'll tell you work hard, eat your vitamins, you know, uh, do exercise, you'll become big. <laughs> He's nearly 50, right? Yeah, show me how many 50 year olds you know naturally eating chicken are so big. <laughs> Come on, man. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you because I like to keep things real. If you want to unsubscribe and oh, you're such an evil person. And like I told you, feel free. You have the video, you have the link, you have my location, you have my number. Everything is online. Feel free. See if my wife agrees to leave. I myself have told her, go back to the village. I'll send money every month. I'll have peace of mind here. I can work by myself. So. Anyway. This is in response to that video. Let me know your thoughts. This is me signing off. You guys take care.